Hello in this video we will discuss about the difference between SNP and mutation. So what is the SNP and what is mutation and what is the difference between uh, both term. So let's begin to understand the SNP first uh, to understand that is the single type of nucleotide polymorphism. This is meaning of single type of nucleotide change in the all population but the whole genome is the same and SNPR mutation we will discuss. So first of all we should discuss about the uh, mutation. So first of all here is a single nucleotide variation is here which that is a single a nucleotide variation are present the whole genome contain a, a one or a one uh, one uh, uh, nitrogenous basis difference as compared to the another individual in the same population for example this is the homo sapien which contain a same species but the individuals contain a one nitrogenous species or one nucleotide difference so this one nucleotide difference is called a single nucleotide variation so this single nucleotide variation means the all genome is the same but the sim the dissimilar uh, nitrogenous space in is very rare and you can see that here is the adenine and other is the guanine while the whole genome contain a cytosine cytosine and you can see that adenine adenine and thymine which that is a comparison and both are equal to each other except the one nucleotide changes so this is the chromosome for example which that is a part of the little bit chromosome which that is showing in the figure so let's begin to understand what is the mutation and mutation defined as the original sequence leading to deletion substitution and duplication so the leading to deletion deletion means the delete of the delete of the basically that is a point mutation this point mutation lead to delete the nucleotide or substitution uh, substitution or duplication so here is the chromosome this chromosome is the same uh, same locus and same allele are uh, both of each and we are separating from the different population to understand so for mutation so here is basically the uh, original sequence is the two adenine and thymine adenine guanine and two cytosine which that is showing in the figure while on the other hand we can say that the mutation that is the point mutation which that is the basically point mutation which cause here is the deletion deletion means the adenine which that is the nitrogenous species will delete so that means the deletion it is called the deletion and that means here is the substitution substitution mean the basically the uh, replacement of the adenine with the guanine so that is the substitution on the other hand here is the basically the duplication duplication means the double of the nitrogenous species the nitrogen basis for example thymine also increase with the thymine so that is why and guanine it means the duplication duplication will be occur so this all thing is the gene mutation not a single nucleotide variation but the more than one nucleotide variation it means the different a chromosome which lead to different mutation but that is another topic we can also understand the mutation is due to the chromosomal dis uh, distinction or chromosome will not separate completely so that the number of chromosome will be high or low in the cell so that is why the mutation cause the syndrome uh, for example down syndrome and Klinefelter syndrome so this mutation is basically is uh, basically not SNP why because it is less than frequent one percent in uh, in uh, in population so uh, SNP mutation should be more than one percent frequency in a population so how to explain that things let's begin to understand so, so here is the SN, SNP is also a type of mutation but all mutation are not SNP why here we will discuss uh, and to understand about the SNP mutation and simple mutation so the single nucleotide variation is uh, basically SNP is 
more than more than one percent so basically more than one percent should be while the mutation should be uh, less than one percent so how to explain that suppose i am taking the hundred individuals of the flower containing plant which that is hundred individual uh, related to the same species so here is the two population we are separating to understand snp mutation so the two uh, two individual mutate is known as the snp while the one change is the less than one person is known as the mutation so mutation uh, mutation cause are basically changes rapidly change due to the deletion substitution and duplication while the snp mutation will remain constant and pass on the generation wise but on the other hand the mutation cause basically mutation cause are danger and harmful but the snp is the harm harmless so that is why an snp in gene in genic and intergenic region is basically the chromosome is here you can see that is a non genic region or intergenic region it is harmless snp is harmless why because it show the trait and it is passing on the generation while why on the other hand the genic region basically may affect phenotype so basically the genic region may affect the phenotype but non genic region is not uh, show the phenotype so the basically is uh, remain uh, genetically but not phenotypically so phenotypically show due to the gene region and may affect the phenotype but the harmless snps can be and harmful snps can uh, also so here is important example is the mutation example is the arabidopsis uh, is the plant which that is contain a mutant population that mutant population means their chromosome contain a lot of mutation which that mutation is non snp because it is not single nucleotide polymorphism it means the single nucleotide is not polymorphism but it contain a lot of uh, mutation here is the black color shows the different population contain a and sorry different individual contain a rare changes rare chances uh, of mutation at same dna location so that means uh, single nucleotide polymorphism is show that the same uh, location location but the mutation is caused the different location of the genome uh, when we will check so the snp as a marker we will understand snp is a marker how we can understand the uh, family uh, history as well as the our evolutionary process or something so the latest generation of marker used in gen uh, in genetic mapping and gws the molecular markers snps uh, uh, single nucleotide polymorphism and molecular marker uh, used as a classification or type of snp why snp marker are popular why because um, uh, it is easy to understand we will discuss also and method of snp marker development detection so the basically is the snp is the marker is the r f l p i double s r and s s r and i l p so basically is the basically is uh, snp is uh, a single nucleotide polymorphism marker is you can understand r f l p i s s r s s r and i l p which that is uh, require the different video and i will make a different video on this snp's marker so remember about that so snp's latest generation markers here we will discuss about the female and male containing a male and female containing plant which that is the thread of the nucleotides or dna is the same but their changes is a single nucleotide polymorphism it means the whole population contain a one nucleotide changes these changes lead to change the other progeny so let's begin to understand here is the snp which when the crossing of the female plant with the male plant to show the progeny progeny here i am drawing the seven progeny seven individuals which contain a same place at the same time 
you can see that as an SNP marker show which that is the different guanine, cytosine, thymine, cytosine, guanine, guanine and thymine which that means the one nucleotide changes one nucleotide changes mean that is basically SNP markers which that is showing in the figure so I hope you make sense about that SNP so let's begin to understand the types of SNP and we are also used as a technological tool SNP and we can uh, we can understand with a different video here is just our view and you can understand as well so the type of SNP we will discuss here basically the type is the here is the transition non-coding and coding and homozygous and heterozygous so the transition means the purine to purine and pyrimidine to pyr pyrimidine which that is the differences purine to purine basically the purine is uh, double ring containing nitrogen species while the pyrimidine is the single ring containing nitrogen species cytosine and thymine uh, so it means the trans tra uh, transversion is the basically transversion is the type of purine to pyrimidine it means the uh, purine is a single ring containing and double ring containing both nucleotide are present in the DNA which that is basically changes so the adenine can be changed as well as the thymine or cytosine can be changed so that is why so that is why the on the basis of purine to purine is basically transition and pyrimidine to pyrimidine is known as a transversion is a purine to pyrimidine while on the other hand the non-coding is here this non-coding is basically is non-coding and it is show that is not not used for the coding and not used for the translation of the protein and coding is used the synonymous and non-synonymous synonymous means that don't uh, don't alter the amino acid it means the changes can be occur but the alteration of the amino acid is impossible while the non-synonymous can be alter the amino acid and it contain a nonsense and missense nonsense used as a stop codon uh, ultimately because the AUG uh, composition or UGA that is and the missense are uh, any other amino changes so that is a missense mutation which that is the type of SNP while on the other hand the homozygous and heterozygous is basically that which homozygous is the uh, two alleles are present in the homozygous condition of the chromosome which that gene are present one gene is come from the mother and one is the father and show that it changes while on the other hand the heterozygous condition which that is different difference is the heterozygously so heterozygously mean the a g which that is difference between them so on the other hand why are snp popular so why it is popular uh, SNP is more popular because it's going to contain a non-genic region or intergenic region and it is harmless SNPs which that is detection and we can say that it is the difference of the population and the genic region are basically our genes may affect function or some gene which that is not affect which that is marking here and that is basically those genes which that uh, which not will be work to translation so that is also change but that is the hidden and not show as a phenotypically and we can che check by the genotypically so the genome wide distribution so this uh, SNP is the genome wide distribution and their distribution is a lot of the whole genome while it is the development is too much easy so SNP by allelic are bi allelic or co-dominant we will discuss here which that is the SNP are sequence specific and result are reproducible we will discuss here is the gel electrophoresis which that is check the segment containing uh, adenine adenine which that is a parental parent 1 and parent 2 contain a uh, adenine uh, homozygous while the their filial generation show that is the heterozygous so this segment will be match this segment will be match and here is the homozygous and heterozygous show that is the two types of from the parent to the uh, uh, filial generation one so this is show that the comparison and we can compare to each other easily 
so the adenine contain a uh, basically when mix homo homozygous to the heterozygous it means the both genome are present the female and male which show that the comparison both with the parent one and parent two basically female and male so that is known heterozygous so that's heterozygous and homozygous which that is showing in the figure and homozygous contain a both type of parent uh, containing genome because the crossing so that is why the uh, dominant marker is showing in the figure this is the dominant marker so the last one the method of snp detection in the population so the resequencing data mining restriction based pcr and rlflp which that is i will make a different video according to this method of snp detection in population so first of all we should understand here is the single strand uh, confirmation polymorphism is here which that is here is a single strand contain a uh, a lot of nitrogen bases but adenine and thymine alteration and here is a governing with the cytosine alteration with a wild type animal and here is a mutant animal so that is the changes and the single strand uh, so here is the tetra arms is showing in the figure which that is basically used for the pcr to understand here is a guanine and cytosine is basically this guanine and cytosine is basically uh, or to ir which that is showing the figure and if which that is annealing process to show that so that is uh, different uh, and on the other hand the last one is the primer extension this primer extension is here is the tetra arms i don't know about that too much so next video i will understand uh, and i will give you concept about that so that is the different things so the primary extension means the checking and where the extension will be not so that is known as the snp which that is not read during the annealing primer so that is annealing primer will not read so thanks for watching please make sure to subscribe and i will make another video about snp